On the United Podcast Network, you're paying attention. And once again, here's Tom Duggan. All righty. Settle down. Live from Studio 21 Podcast Cafe here at Two Guys Smoke Shop in Salem, New Hampshire. Hi, I'm Tom Duggan. This is the Paying Attention Podcast. I want to thank Meredith and Fred again. I want to thank Kiana and Ira for their Tide Pod thing that they did. And, of course, Sean the Barista makes me the most amazing coffee ever. And I'm not just saying that. It really is pretty good. Sitting to my left today is a good friend of mine, Dave O'Brien. He is an accountant by trade, I think. Um, but he is also a member of the Lawrence Lions Club. Now, you drive on the highway, you see these signs that say Lions Club, um, Exchange Club, Rotary Club. Most people don't know what these organizations do. And we want to try and educate people as to what some of these organizations do because they're doing good work. And if more people knew what they did, more people would join and help out. And I think that would make a better community. So we, uh, we asked Dave to come in to talk about the Lawrence Lions, what they do. How, how did it start? Let's start with that. Like, tell people who you are, what you do, and why you joined the Lions, and we'll go into all the Lions stuff. All right. My name is Dave O'Brien, as you've said. <clears throat> I've joined the Lions right Club. Here. Oh, 45 years ago, more or less. And the Lions Club is the world's largest service organization. We are located in about 200 different countries and geographical regions. There are 46,000 clubs and about a million and a half members. Wow, it's a lot of people. Yes, it is. And... As I said, it's community service. Most people recognize the Lions by what we do with eyes and work for the blind. We do collect glasses, which are uh, used primarily outside of this country because most states in this country do not allow recycling of eyeglasses. Why why, why is that, do you think? uh, Because it's a good lobby for the the, uh, optometrists and stuff, yeah. Um, nothing wrong with the glasses they get cleaned up they go to different countries around the world uh, places like Haiti and they uh, reuse and people in those countries are very appreciative of receiving well it would be nice if some of those countries were nicer to us considering how nice we are to them so the, so the Lions so the, the, the Lawrence Lions Club I know um, goes out into the community and does uh, more, more than just raising money, right? You guys go out in the community and you do. You talk about um, the last two, the last two uh, ice screenings that, that we did and, yeah. and how we. I'm actually a member of the Lions, so let's. Right. Well, Tom is a member of the Lawrence Lions, so we, that's full disclosure. Yeah. And I'm actually a member of the Methuen Lions and a a rebuilding lion for the Lawrence Lions. The Lawrence Lions recently, uh, within the last few months, did an ice screening. At the Tarbox School, where we we screen children with what's called a spot camera. It's a a camera which, lined up properly, will take a picture of the children's eyes without them even knowing it's been taken. And it very simply tells them whether or not they need further evaluation. Out of the 78 students that were screened, approximately uh, 10 need further evaluation, which is a little above average. So you guys do the eye screening, and then if someone comes up with a cataract problem or some kind of an eye problem, it'll detect it, and then you guys do what? We, we inform the students, or, well, the school nurse actually informed the parents of the students that further evaluation of their condition is, is needed. In the in majority of cases, it simply means that they need either eyeglasses for the first time or they need a new prescription. Mm-hmm. There are some cases which are more severe, and as a result, the children get referred to ophthalmologists for further evaluation. So now you guys, um, the Lawrence Lions Club over the last 
20 or 30 years. Somebody said, we had a Lions meeting yesterday, and somebody said, I think it might have been you, that um, that the Lawrence Lions have donated, what, over a million dollars to INA Research? No, no, no. The uh, $111,000 over the last 50 years from the uh, Lawrence Lions to the Massachusetts Lions Eye Research Foundation, which is our, our signature project in Massachusetts. All the money that goes to that foundation is redirected to research hospitals in the Boston area. And all it's allowed to be used for is research, to pay the researchers to do the research. They cannot buy equipment. Uh, it can't be used for buildings, etc. cetera. Uh, $34 million has been raised by Lions wow. clubs in Massachusetts throughout the state since approximately 1950. Wow. That's amazing. Yes. It's amazing stuff. So what made you want to get involved in, in the Lions? Like, I joined the Lions a long time ago, and I couldn't, didn't have time to go to meetings, so I stopped going. And I, I joined not even really knowing what you do. So when uh, Jim Wagner roped me in this time and said, you got to join the Lions Club, I'm like, I'll join, but you got to tell me, like, what do you do? Like, what is the Lions? Why am I joining? What is what is going to be my purpose here? And he said, well, we help we help uh, kids get eyeglasses, and we do eye screenings, and we, we raise money for eye research. And I thought, wow, this is great. Great. Like this is this is an organization that actually I join tons of groups and I wait five weeks and if they don't actually go out and do something besides having meetings I quit and I joined the Lawrence Lions and I said you know if I'm here five or six weeks and you guys aren't doing stuff I'm going to leave because I, I joined to do stuff I don't join to have right. meetings and so they went out and they did uh, Daybreak Homeless Shelter in Lawrence uh, the homeless people. Uh, they went down. I think we did somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 or 30 people that day. Correct. Uh, we found, I think, five or six people that uh, that needed some further follow-up, that need glasses or need some uh, further care. And the Lawrence Lions is now looking for uh, – we went to Tolman Eye Associates, and they were not really as helpful as they have been in the past, sadly to say. Um, so we're, the Lawrence Lions is actually looking for an optometrist or an eyeglass place that we can work with. Uh, that might you know donate their cost or, or donate their their profit, and you know we can kick in their cost for uh, getting glasses for poor people that just don't have it. Homeless people, kids in Lawrence, uh, you know the downtrodden people who need stuff. Right. Right. Yeah. Now I'll tell you, Tom. As a result of our efforts through Mass Lions Eye Research over the years, when we have a person who needs a very very intensive eye care solution uh, we get it we, we we contact members of the board uh, the state board of the mass science eye research foundation and we recently had a student in Methuen who needed a very sensitive surgery not only did we get the surgery date moved up uh, we got the price of the surgery reduced dramatically nice and the student uh, is doing well uh, I, I spoke with his mother and he is doing well, and he is now in college. So that's fantastic. So lions for the eye stuff is that's only a small portion of what we do. We we have refocused for the next hundred years. One of uh, one of our areas will be diabetes, because it is something that affects not only your general health but your eye health substantially. We have a program at our international foundation, and I know you're not a big fan of the organization being international. Yeah, I, I really don't. I, I, however, I don't like I don't like any of our money going to other countries. It's however, strange, but we have a program called the Mutual Initiative, which is funded in part by Lions Club International Foundation, and there are matching grants from the Gates Foundation and, and an organization called Gavi, and as a result. We are vaccinating children all over the world for approximately a dollar a shot. I call it a buck a shot. Measles is the number one killer and the number one cause of blindness in children. And we're talking about children anywhere in the world. Now, in, in countries like the United States, Canada, the European countries, pretty much all of the kids are vaccinated. But in poorer countries, in third world countries and so forth, the kids aren't vaccinated. 
And that's what this money is primarily used for, to make sure that kids have a shot at actually living a life and aren't caused blindness by measles. We also wiped out something called river blindness, which was totally unheard of in the United States because it's caused by a, a mosquito that carries a, a particular uh, virus. And we never saw it in the United States. But it's a big problem in places where there are big, <laughs> big rivers like right. the Amazon and so forth. And we've uh, wiped out most of river blindness in, in South America and a lot of it in, in Africa. Well, that's great. Um, how do people join the, the Lions Club? Not just the Lions Lions Club, but how, how do they how do they go about finding out uh, how to join their local? Maybe there's somebody here in Salem, New Hampshire, or in, or, or in Londonderry. How do they do that? Okay, the the. Uh, Lions Club International website has a listing of all the clubs everywhere in the world. Uh, you go on there, you can find the club. You can then find out who the president of the club is and contact them. Uh, anybody who is really interested in joining and, and has trouble with the website or, or finding information is more than welcome to contact me. I'll be happy to put them in touch with anybody anywhere in the world. All right. And if you want to join the Lawrence Lions Club, you can always get in touch with me. You can send me an email, send me an instant message on Facebook. We'd love to have you in the Lawrence Lions Club. Um, you, but you've got to be someone that's going to do work. If you want to join to have meetings and have lunch, please join another group. Uh, we, we actually get together. I think for every four meetings we have, we go out and we do something. Um, the next one that we're doing, I was talking to uh, our, our fine president, uh, Steve Payne, yesterday. Uh, Randy Carter from Veterans Northeast Outreach asked if we could come up there and screen some veterans. So we're getting in touch with the Haverhill Club to make sure they don't think we're stepping on their toes because Veterans Northeast Outreach is in Haverhill. And we'll either partner with them to go do it or we'll just go do it. Right. Right. But we want people who are going to join, who are going to do stuff, who want to come with us when we do eye screenings, when we go out and raise money for, uh, for eye health. Uh, we, we don't want people that just want to join meetings and talk because I'm on a ton of boards and um, I just I can, personally I can't handle having meetings without doing stuff. You know I just I, I, I can't I can't stand it. So um, I joined the Methuen Exchange Club. They do amazing work and I'm going to have someone from there on the program in a subsequent show. Uh, I'm so glad to have Lion Dave. Do you have any parting words for people? I, I just if you are interested in community service. And you don't think that you want to be just involved with <clears throat> eye research or something like that. Don't worry about it. We do other things. We do a lot of things for kids in the community. We have a we have a peace poster contest, which is an international contest for uh, middle school age kids. We have a high school youth speech contest. We have uh, high school clubs called uh, Leo clubs. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's done by lions. Uh, for instance, my beard, Tom, was actually a community service project for the Wakefield Lions Club because I helped them out at their Santa workshop playing. He does look like Santa Claus, doesn't he? I think he looks like Santa Claus. So anyway, the, that's why I grew the beard right. to do it this year. Now, the beard's coming off pretty soon because I can't take it much longer. <laughs> I think it's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> yeah, well... Uh, it's kind of 50-50. Some people think so, some people don't, and it's getting to be a bothersome, so it's coming off. But there are all kinds of things. If you want to help people in your community, the Lions Club is a good place to do it, and we're always open to new suggestions about what to do for the community. Well, thank you so much for coming in. We call him Lion Dave. Uh, if you want to find him on Facebook, it's Lion Dave, L-I-O-N Dave. Um, and if you want to just shoot me an instant message or an, e or an email, you want to give me a call. If you're interested in joining the Lawrence Lions Club or any of the other Lions Clubs, give us a call. We'll, we'll direct you to the right person. They're a great organization. They do a lot of good stuff, and they don't get nearly enough – uh, thanks or publicity for what they do, which is why I wanted to have them here on the show. Uh, Dave, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate that. Nice Hopefully you can hang that. around with us for a little while if you want. Feel I free to stay if that. you can. If you can't, we understand. I don't know. And uh, let's take a quick break, and then I'm going to come back. We're going to talk about racism. We're going to talk about Lawrence homeless people. We're going to talk about uh, Martin Luther King. We're going to talk about Donald Trump. Um, a couple of other things here. What else do we have? The government shutdown. 
um, the nightmare that is the Walgreens specialty pharmacy, a whole bunch of other stuff. We'll be right back on Paying Attention.